All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with another game day picks for week number five. Yes. Um, so we are in week number five of the NFL season. Um, we have the picks. Um, so I'm gonna have this video up, video up before tonight's Thursday night game, which is gonna be the Buccaneers versus the Falcons. Um, we're gonna check out my previous week record, what I had, what I got from last week. Oh Jesus! But <laughs> if you are new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe, share the videos, uh, show love. If you are a returning subscriber, um, continue to support the videos. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So we do have week five here, and look at the record. Just look at the record. Just look at it. Uh, ah, nine and seven again so we went 97 um in two back-to-back -back weeks i had 97 last week and i had <laughs> i had i went 97 week four and in week three we got to do some like the between the eagles the cardinals the jets the steelers they literally just killed my whole pickums from last week like the teams that should have won lost and the games weren't even like the only one that was really a blowout was the Eagles and the Bucks. All the other ones were like close games. It's so weird. Um, but like I said, this is gonna be week five. Hopefully, we can do better than nine and seven. I'm hoping and praying. Um, but let's go ahead and get started here. So, start it off. Buccaneers versus Falcons. This is gonna be a Thursday night game tonight. Um, the Buccaneers just came uh, from the game last week, putting a, a at, putting a whooping on the eagles thank you buccaneers for doing that i appreciate it uh, coming from a cowboys fan i appreciate it um <laughs> and then the falcons they came off of a win as well they beat the saints um it was an it was a close victory though at the same time uh, bucks uh the bucks are just they're doing good i feel like the bucks can lose any game honestly um i feel like the bucks should win this game but they are on the road in atlanta uh atlanta defense is decent um but I feel like the Buccaneers are going to win this. Baker Mayfield, Mike Evans. Um, Baker Mayfield seems to be a lot more comfortable in that offense. And the defense is comparable. Um, but other than that, I mean, the only reason why I would see them losing is if Baker Mayfield just starts throwing, it, st starts throwing interceptions. So I'm picking the Bucs for this Thursday night game. Next, we have the Jets and the Vikings. Now, the Jets pissed me off last week. Ain't no reason why. Yeah, I lost to Denver, and it was the score was nine to ten. What the hell, bro? Nine to ten, bro. Aaron Rodgers, you lost to a rookie quarterback. <laughs> That's insane. And how stacked the Jets are on both sides of the ball. Y'all lost nine to ten. That's unacceptable. Y'all should be way better than what y'all are. Um, Vikings, like I said, they undefeated. Sam Darnold has he just turned into a a starting caliber quarterback out of nowhere. Um, they're rolling and they're gonna be at home too and that harsh environment um, if this was three four years ago I would pick the Jets because I'm just saying if Aaron Rodgers was playing for the Jets three four years ago I may have picked I probably would pick the Jets because Aaron Rodgers was actually good but I don't know Jets is too up and down I don't know what I don't know what the problem is. I don't know if it's the head coach or the offensive coordinator. It's one of the two. Or if it's the players. It's just the young players. But I'm going with the Vikings. I'm going with the hot hand here. Um, it could go the opposite way. Aaron Rodgers may take over the game and may literally be out there <laughs> dotting <laughs> the Vikings defense up. But I don't see it happening. It hasn't happened yet to Minnesota. So I don't see it happening at home, especially. Um, but next, we do have the Bears and the Panthers. Panthers, I would not be surprised if this is a close-ass game because um, Khalid Williams has not looked up to par as far as the expectations they have gave him before the season. Like, he's 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 going through those rookie struggles, and honestly, the team itself isn't doing that well. The Panthers, on the other hand, Andy Dalton, I don't know what the Panthers is doing. The Bears should win this game, and I'm going to pick the Bears, but I wouldn't be surprised if this game is close. Next. Baltimore Ravens versus, versus the Bengals. Bengals are annoying. They don't like to start playing until like halfway through the season, which is kind of annoying. Ravens, on the other hand, um, they finally decided they finally decided to be to, decided to be like, oh snap, we got a, a almost 300 pound running back in the backfield. We should hand it off to him. 
Duh. Run the ball, Ravens. Hello? Run the ball, play action. That's your that's your identity. I don't know why you're trying to make Lamar Jackson a pocket quarterback. Just run the goddamn ball. Um, Ravens should win this game, but it's going to be a very close game because it is a division game. But the Ravens should win this. They have a better team than the Bengals. Simple. Next, Bills and Houston Texans. The Texans are kind of annoying to me because they are very sloppy on offense. And a lot of these games that they have played recently have been close. Um, who did they play? They played the Jaguars, and he won 24-20. That game is too close. Defens defensively, they're cool. But on, but on offense, sometimes they, they play a lot of sloppy ball, sloppy football on offense. And I don't understand it. And if they continue to do that, they're going to lose in the playoffs if they play like that. Um, now, them receivers have been getting, you know, Nico Collins and Stephon Diggs and all them. Like, they've been doing pretty well. But it's just the, the drives. If you actually watch the games, it doesn't look very clean when they're on offense. Bills, Josh Allen, y'all lost to the Ravens. Y'all got punished by Derrick Henry last week. I don't expect them to get punished as much as they did last week. Um, Texans, like I said, they're at home. I'm picking the Bills. I just don't feel like the Bills are going to lose back-to-back -back games. I don't think they're going to let that happen. Um, but, yeah. Next, we have the Colts and the Jaguars. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know if Anthony Richardson is going to be playing or not. I don't think. I think he's out. I'm pretty sure. Who is the backup quarterback? Uh, don't know because it ain't meant you no more because he's on the Raiders. Uh, Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence. Um, yeah. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence. This game right here is like, a, is, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Flacco is, is the backup quarterback for the Colts. I just remember that. I'm picking Colts because Flacco just gets off. Flacco can literally <laughs> be on the couch for two years and get get up off the couch and play for a team and take them to the playoffs. For some reason, he's just, I don't know. I'm taking the Colts. Jaguars, I don't have no trust in, trust in the Jaguars whatsoever. Anyway, Dolphins and Patriots. Um, Hundley is going to be starting again this week for the Dolphins. Patriots, um, I think their rookie quarterback is, is starting. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, they're going to be at home. Uh, Huntley, I don't know. He didn't look He didn't look good at all. I can understand why he was a free agent because he does not look good. Maybe it was just Baltimore that made him look good, but he does not look good. Um, oh, this is kind of tough. I feel like the Dolphins are a better team, but they're not playing like it. The Patriots are what the Patriots are. They don't have an offensive line. They don't have much weapons. Defense is decent, but... Um, Dolphins are not good on the road, so I'm going to go to the Patriots. Next, Browns and Washington. So everybody's on the Jaden Daniels train. And, you know, can't even lie. The Washington got a quarterback, finally. The Browns, y'all look sad, man. Y'all talking about trading Amari Cooper. Your quarterback stink. Your defense stink. Like, at this point, I don't even know. I'm not picking y'all no more. I'm going with Jaden Daniels. And if I lose this pick after picking the Browns in back-to-back -back weeks, I swear. We're going to have some problems. Next, Raiders and Broncos. Broncos got to, got their little one-point win against the Jets last week. Um, the Raiders, y'all look sad. Devontae Adams won't out. Magically, he got a hamstring injury, and he's not going to be playing in this game. Y'all don't got no quarterback. I'm going with Sean Payton. <laughs> like, yeah. Y'all don't have no quarterback. But y'all know that already. Raider fans, y'all already know y'all don't got no quarterback. Next, Cardinals, 49ers. Um, uh, Car I picked the Cardinals last week to beat Washington, and they got blown out 42-14. Not picking y'all this week. Uh, I mean, Cardinals, y'all got blown out. Not picking y'all this week, but because I picked y'all last week. I'm going with the 49ers with this pick. Next, Green Bay. LA Rams. Jordan Love, he did play, I think. Let me check. Yeah, he did play, but he threw three interceptions. But it was against the Vikings, and it was a close game. So, I'm going to go with the Packers because the Rams, they did lose to. Who did they lose to? They lost to the Bears, 24-18. So I'm going to go with the Packers with that one. 
Next, we have the Giants and Seattle. Um, the Giants suck. Daniel Jones sucks. Seattle. Um, Seattle lost to the Lions, 42-29. Um, but both teams were good. It was actually a pretty good game. Seattle's winning that one. Pretty simple. Um, the Cowboys and Steelers. Sunday night game. And they got 47% Cowboys and 53% Steelers. So we're going to be going to the Steelers. Um, so last time we played, we beat the Steelers. That was in like 2016. 2016? Yeah, that was that was, that was was 2016. So based off of these percentages, everybody's in the middle. It's like a toss-up. Um, Justin Fields, they did lose to the Colts. Um, but it was that it was it was based off of a, of one drive that he lost. Um, Cowboys, on the other hand, we beat the Giants. That don't really matter. I honestly don't even count that. I'm still not satisfied. I need to see more. I need to see better. We got all these injuries. Brandon Cooks is out. Michael Parsons, Demarcus Lawrence, Bland is out. Trevon Diggs is is hurt. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm picking my Cowboys, but I wouldn't be surprised if we lose. Um, if we just we just have too many injuries, and it's like they're putting everything on Dak. Like Dak can't play defense and offense and be a receiver and be he can't do it all, man. But I'm picking my Cowboys. Wouldn't be surprised if we lose though. Anyway, last game we have the Saints and the Chiefs. I'm not I'm not picking against the the, the Chiefs. So I'm picking the Chiefs. Saints. You're cool. You started off decent. You're falling off. I'm going with the Chiefs. That's going to be it. That's my picks. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. We better we better do better than 9 to 7 this week for sure. Cuz there's no way we can we will go 3 weeks back to back of getting 9 to 7 records. So, hopefully we'll do better. Um if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys continue to show love, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.